In this demo, we have a look at the Vault ID portal, which can be used for credential issuance and verification. It's a white label location, so it can be used for various use cases. And the other component will be our web wallet, which can be used to receive and present credentials, as well as manage different dits and keys. And today we will using it to issue an SD chart W3C credential. SD chart basically is a privacy enhancing mechanism for verifiable credentials, allowing users to control what data to share in an interaction. For example, John therefore can only share his age with a verifier, but doesn't need to reveal his name or address, which would be also present in the credential if the verifier doesn't need this information. We now will issue ourselves a bank ID as a verifiable credential. Hereby we select the SD chart signature and go ahead to the issuance. I will now open this in my web wallet. And here we can now see that my DIT key will receive a bank ID. So I accept this request. And here we now have our bank ID. And as we can see here, by default, all these attributes in the verifiable credential from the account ID to the ID are selectively disclosable. Meaning if the credential is shared as it is right now, the verifier only receives these hashes, but can't do anything with the data. Verifier actually needs the disclosures, which are the plain text values of the credential to be able to verify, for example, that the name of the presenter is actually John. And we will now do that. So let's go back to our portal and do a verification of a bank ID. So here I will select bank ID and the following policies will be applied. I now go ahead to the verification. So if I open this now in the World ID web wallet, I see I get this presentation request. And this presentation request allows me to select which data I now actually want to share with the verifier. And there I select the given name as well as the family name. And I present this credential. The verification was successful and the verifier only saw my name and my family name but not the date of birth as well as other information that wasn't able to be selectively disclosable.